Hello, everystepphysics.com. This is Tom, the designer of the programs. Um, everystepcalculus.com. Don't forget calculus. Um, a problem in Yahoo. Show you how to do that in my menu. You put physics into your entry line as instructions, and you come up with this menu, and then you scroll to the what's asked for, which is ramps and slopes and stuff like that. It gives you an indication of what you're after. We're after objects, not spheres. We're on an inclined surface. And we're going to choose what's given, which is um, mass, theta, initial velocity, and distance. We're going to enter our variables. You have to press alpha before you enter anything in these entry lines here. Mass is given as alpha 5. I do the conversions for you. The ramp angle is given as alpha 30. Initial velocity is given at alpha 8. No, 7.6. meters per second, number four. You can scroll or press the number. And we're going to the right positive. Um, the distance is equal to alpha three. Meters, number four again. I'm going to scroll down to it. Okay. I always show you what you've entered. You can check it and see if you made a mistake or not. If it's okay, you go okay. Force of gravity, the most important calculation, 49.05 mass times gravity. Normal force is mass times gravity, or force of gravity times cosine of theta is 42.479. The FGP, which is I call the force of gravity parallel, parallel gravity force, because that goes along the parallel with the, with the ramp has nothing to do with horizontal, has to do with only what the forces that are applied along the ramp, and that's what this is, 24.525. Initial kinetic energy is one half times mass times velocity squared, is 144.4. Change in kinetic energy is, uh, changes in, in any position, changes in velocity, changes whatever in, in physics is always the final minus the initial. And a lot of times they have the O here. You know, like VO, which is they call V naught, you know, in physics classes. I always thought that was pathetic, but but O means original. Original. So they had velocity original and they called it velocity naught. You know, it's cool physics people like to screw you up and make you confused as hell. Well, anyways, the final Ke is zero, and the initial Ke is 144, so the, the change in kinetic energy is minus 144 joules. Initial height is zero, so the potential energy is dealing with initial height, and that's zero, so the potential energy of an initial potential is, is zero. And the final height can be computed as d times sine of theta, and it equals 0.1.5 meters. And so then you can figure the, the potential final energy, which is 5, you know, mg times 1.5. So I like to, they use mg here. I like to use force of gravity because we've already figured this. mg is the force of gravity. So I usually like, but, but because pathetic tests and professors and everybody else use mg here, so that I do that, but it, it annoys me. So the final is 73.575. The change in P is a change in final minus the change in initial equals 73.6. The work done in physics is the change in kinetic energy equals minus 144. Also, the work done is equal to the F net, which is the important force calculation, which is the total force F net times the distance. 
and that equals minus 40. So the uh, work done is minus 40, 144 equals F net 3, and so you do the algebraic computations and you come up with minus 48.133 newtons. F net is also equal invariably with a, with a block on a ramp is the applied force minus the gravity parallel force minus the friction force. It never changes. These must always be included somehow in the problem. In this case, there's no, f no applied force, so I have zero. And the force of gravity parallel is minus is 24.5. The friction force, we don't know. We're trying to find that. F net is minus 48.1. So we do the uh, algebraic switching and stuff, and friction force equals 23.6 newtons. Same as above, except it's so confusing above, you can't, don't even know what they're talking about. Here you can memorize and understand physics and, and figure out what the hell's going on. So friction force is equal to UK times the normal force. Never any difference, okay? UK times the normal force. Actually, in, in uh, in ramps or horizontal, where the, where somebody's pushing on a or pulling on a on a mass, this would be F net because there's a vertical force that you have to add into there or subtract from there, depending upon whether they're pushing or pulling. Well, anyways, friction force 23.6 equals UK 42. So the friction force equals 0 0.55577. This is the only way to to, to figure out. Now, the, above they use mathematics to and in trigonometry to come up with a solution, but it doesn't help you as a student. You don't know what they're talking about. You have no idea. You can't memorize calculations like that. You have to memorize things like normal force equals 42.5. A lot of professors use U instead of UK. Well, there's a static coefficient of static friction, too. Why not use US, which I do? UK and US. This is coefficient of kinetic friction. Okay, so it equals that. You can see the answers again, go through them really quick, mark down on your paper, get an A in all your tests. Hey, everystepphysics.com, have a good one.